If you're anything like me, every single time you saw the movie Top Gun, you showed up at your local naval recruiting station and pumped out 50 push-ups. They sent you on your way, you went home, and you wondered, how could I get a call sign? Well, today's the day, guys. I'm going to walk you through how to get a call sign. It's the single coolest thing you can do. Open up the App Store on either iPhone or Android. Once you have the app open, search Ham Radio Prep and download the Ham Radio Prep app and then open it. Keep in mind that the first time you do open the app, you are going to need to create a username and password. You can also authenticate with Google, and in my case, I could log in via Apple. Once you're logged into the app, you will see the three levels of licenses that exist here in the United States. Your goal is to begin studying for the technician license. That's how you get your call sign. They also have the general license, level two, which is the license I currently hold. I recommend going there as fast as you can. That will open up the HF world for you. I'm actually currently studying for my amateur extra license. I'm at 61% and I've done a bunch of the practice tests and study materials. I still have a ways to go, but I am working towards my amateur extra license. I want you to click technician license and start going through the different lessons. The Ham Radio Prep app will provide you all 22 lessons for your technician license. To quickly demo this, let's click on lesson 19 together, antennas, one of my favorite subjects within amateur radio. The app is going to have a very helpful video resource that'll walk you through the materials related to this portion of the technician exam. A great way to start getting your feet wet is start taking the practice test for this specific lesson. In fact, I would recommend starting to blitz practice tests through all 22 lessons to start to gain familiarity with the resource. Of course, it's much more valuable to dive into the lessons and watch the videos and understand the theory, the science, and the subject in depth, but a little known secret within amateur radio, it's okay to just start blitzing practice tests and gain familiarity with the content and answers. That way you can show up to a testing site, get your amateur radio call sign. And guys, this has been my personal experience. The majority of the knowledge you're gonna gain within amateur radio is gonna come as you get on the air with amateur radio, as you begin making on-air contacts, either via SSB, single sideband, like through a microphone, or in many of uh, the viewers of my channel, Morse code. It's also a phenomenal community of people that are going to be willing to answer questions that you have. So as much as possible, do not let the content and material and science and theory and methodology of amateur radio intimidate you. Just start getting your feet wet with the information and the first step, the catalyst to gaining true knowledge within this hobby is getting your call sign and getting on the air. Once you've gotten to a point you're passing practice tests at about 80%, 90% proficiency, go to the bottom of the app where you can find an exam location and go take your exam, pass it and get your call sign. It's so awesome to get a call sign, guys. I'm really excited to announce that Ham Radio Prep has partnered with me and there is a coupon code available to you guys. Now, I think the better business decision would have been to use KI7QCF, but when they gave me the opportunity to choose the 10% off coupon code, I had to go with Bug Life, obviously. Use Bug Life for 10% off. Go download Ham Radio Prep today and I'll see you guys on the air very soon. Oh, and if you do get that amateur radio call sign, well, let me know, because I might just have a few stickers for you guys. Thanks, 73, this is KI7QCF.